Mr. Kanakura, could it be? The Pharaoh's curse? No, that would be impossible. Uh, Moto will arrive soon. It would be nice to get my mind off of all this. Uh, I feel exhausted. What? Who are you? I have been the keeper of the Pharaoh's tomb for three millennia. A follower of Anubis. You're... what? You, Professor, who have disturbed the sacred sleep of my proud king, will now be submitted to judgment before the Millennium Scales. No! Leave me alone! I did nothing wrong! Man, I have been really tired lately. Ah! Yoshibori! Yoshibori, hang on! Recognize the pain that you feel, for that is the weight of your sins. The Desperate Ties of Friendship Grandpa! Mr. Yoshibori will make it, but he needs his rest, just like all of you. Why don't you kids head home? But what about you, Grandpa? I'm staying here. I wasn't there for my friend earlier, but I will be now. <sighs> both Mr. Kanakura and Professor Yoshibori have been attacked, and both were involved with Egyptian artifacts in some capacity. Isn't it obvious? It's a curse, Sanzu! A curse! This is what happens when you guys go poking around dead guys. How spooky! Neo, there's nothing to fear. Curses are no match for a beautification member. If danger ever presents itself, I, Honda, will be there to protect you at all costs. You know, Honda, you go and get yourself cursed first. That'll give the rest of us some time to book it. Excuse me? The two of you stop fighting? Yeah, yeah. 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 Judge your life and your friends. The only thing left for me now is to settle my score with you. Don't worry. There are no traps in this hand. I never imagined that the other boy in the soul would save me. I am forever in your debt. It's not polite to force your way into other people's souls. I advise you to leave. Does this mean I have lost the game? For you, it may only be the beginning. Since that moment of embarrassing loss, the thought of it has continued to plague me. And I haven't been able to continue on my journey. Well, this is me. Please be careful, Anzu. I'll be alright, Yugi. Bye. See you tomorrow. This girl will be the perfect way to lure Yugi's utter self out once more. <coughs> Millennium Key will unlock the door to your soul. Now let me see what lies in waiting for me. This is the room of her soul. It is surrounded by mirrors, along with many items used for dancing. The mirrors reflect her self-image. It indicates that she is very confident. But her spirit also dwells on the past. And then, a dream. A picture of a faceless man. Perhaps someone that she longs to meet in person. But, this girl must be changed. Forgive me. I despise that they must resort to using such an innocent soul such as yours. But it must be done in order to summon Yugi's other self. Darkness Possession! What the hell is on your head, Jinochi? Can't you tell by looking at it? It's a charm, man! Duh! Care to explain the things hanging from your neck? Not only did Kanakura get whacked, 
But Professor Yoshiburg got hospitalized. We were all at that museum. That means we could get cursed too. Genochi, you're hopeless. Even if there was a curse, being afraid of it only makes you a bigger target. Now take those off. Yeah, shut up, Honda. Anzu, good morning. Uh... Hmm... Alright, class. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of stamina training. Uh... Yogi, would you mind getting a field chalk striper? Field chalk striper. Field chalk striper. Ah, there you are. Ah. That was close. Jeez, Yugi, you gotta be more careful. As a beautification member, I can't condone running around like that. Uh. Really, Yugi. Just be careful, okay? <sighs> Ow! Yogi! Yogi. Uh, you alright, bud? Shit! Uh, it's nothing. Really, I'll be fine. You need to get to the nurse. Um, hello? Is anyone here? Nurse? I wonder how Yuki's doing. I know he said he wasn't hurt, but that was one hell of a fall. Class probably already started. Huh? Mio? Why are you at the nurse's office? It couldn't be that you're hurt, could it? If so, please allow me to help you feel better. Yeah, down, boy. No, nothing like that. Just a bit ago, Anzu was in here, and I was wondering if she was feeling ill because she was scared too. Anzu was here? I doubt she was scared. Maybe it was something else. Well, she's been acting really weird all day! Yo, you! Uh? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Show me your true power, power so, so we can, can settle, settle this, Yugi. Yugi. What the? Anzu, stop! Get back here! Anzu! Yo, Yuga, you okay? I think so. Did you find her? It's no good. There's not a trace of her anywhere. Hey! What's going on with Anzu's voice? It's the friggin' curse! And you made me take all my charms off! You think I'm the only hopeless one now, Honda? Wait a minute. If it actually is the mummy's curse, then that means any one of us could be next. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, let's split up and look for Anzu one more time. Hey, don't run away so quickly! What? Watch your backs! Anzu! Anzu! You? But why? I was hoping to call forth your other self by endangering you, but it doesn't seem to have worked. But why? So that I could summon the other Yugi. You have forced my hand, boy. What do you mean? Listen closely, Yugi. Your friend is under my complete control, and will do anything I order her to. Her fate is in your hands alone. You find her? No, I couldn't. Thank God. Honda, how about you? <laughs> hey, hey, not fun, man. What's going on with you? Bad <laughs> <Hey>, Honda! <laughs> Feel your anger. Feel your misery. Feel all of your sorrow. With your emotions out of balance, your other self will be revealed! <gasps> he 
is here. The other Yugi. Shoddy. You're finally showing yourself, other Yugi. How dare you use my friend in a game? Forgive me. It was the only path left available to me, so that I may settle my score with you. Yugi, if you lose this game, you will also lose the girl. <sighs> Before I set the rules, there is something I want to say to you. It has to do with how you obtained the Millennium Puzzle. You believe that you stumbled onto the puzzle by accident. But that is false. The puzzle has chosen you after waiting for three millennia. And I too was chosen to wield the power of the Millennium Items. I'm aware of that. You'd rather be a rival than an ally. Set your rules, Shadi. It's game time. Set bravado. There's no need to be afraid, Yugi. What? Afraid? Somewhere inside you, you are afraid of the true strength you possess. Unknown of the powers of the puzzle. Here is the weakness within your soul. Look at the proof, it is just over there. Anzu! Yugi, can't you see that the game has already begun? The sculptures are what represents your soul. When a weakness is brought to light, you will lose one. <sighs> lose the last three and your friend will lose her life. But... There is a way to win. On the rope tied the Millennium Key is a sculpture representing my soul. I see. So if I destroy your sculpture before you can destroy my last three... Correct. At that moment, the Millennium Key will slide down the rope and make contact with your friend, releasing her from my control. Have I set my rules clearly enough, Yugi? The only one who has seen their soul's weakness will lose the game. I've had enough of your stalling, Shoddy. Then let us begin! This is your first test, Yugi. This is... Shit, 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 shit! <laughs> Damn it! Why'd you have to go and get yourself cursed like that, Honda? This way! <laughs> the only way to escape the illusion monster is to make it disappear, Yuki. Hidden on the panel in front of you, you will find two of the same pattern. Wait, there are nine tablets, meaning one left over won't have a match. Correct again. In the panel, there is one tablet without a match. The goal of this first test is to find it. But you'll only be able to flip each tablet over once. I'll give you a hint. The panel mirrors and reflects the monster that binds you. It mirrors and reflects the monster. Anzu! Alright, come on, Slowpoke! <laughs> sorry, Honda! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Yeah. Sorry, Honda, but desperate times come for desperate measures. I hope you understand. Yeah. Seriously, what is up with you and ah! <laughs> This isn't funny anymore, Honda! Anzu? What the hell's happening today? Shadi told me this panel mirrors and reflects the monster. Think. A mirror. A mirror should reflect the monster's image, and if it does, then that means the reflection should be four pairs of identical items that are represented in the panel. It's mirroring the monster's features. I've got it. The features that he has two of are ears, eyes, and hands. 
but he only has one mouth. Well done, Yuki. But our game is still in its infancy. Allow me to introduce your next opponent. Jonochi. This was the first friend that little Yugi made because of you, was it not? A friend who once tormented Yugi. And he has been called forth to torment him once again. What? In your next test, both of you will roll the Millennium Puzzle, and you will take a step in the direction in which it lands. The winner of this game is the one to push the other off the edge first. Now, Yugi, let's see how you fare against your friend. This Junochi is obviously an illusion created by Shadi, but there is a possibility that he was caught in Shadi's trap as well. Heh, <laughs> is this stupid little puzzle really a treasure? Ha! Aren't you a little old to be playing with toys, you loser? Ah! Onzu! Damn! I only have one sculpture left. Alright, let's get this show on the road. The puzzle's pointing that way. You know what to do. Get the step in. Now it's your turn, nerd. I won't roll it. I don't want to play this game with you, Junochi. Mm -hmm. Whatever you say, kid. It's my turn again. At the puzzle points in the same way? Then you take another step towards your doom. Come on, Yugi, fight back. Don't tell me you're skipping your turn again. I pass my turn. Are you forfeiting the game? Will you admit your defeat, Yugi? I said I pass my turn, Shadi. I believe in my friend. You believe in him? You cannot defeat your past, Yugi. This weakness you have shown is the belief that you have in others. Know this. True strength only comes from believing in oneself. Now roll the puzzle and finish the game! Why aren't you rolling the puzzle? End this! My illusions! How? It's disappearing! The bonds that I share with my friends will always be stronger than your illusion, Shadi. Even if you can manipulate them, it's useless. Oh no! Anzu! Hey, Anzu! It's going to be alright! We got you! Junochi! Impossible! How can these children support each other so easily? No! My sword sculpture! You just don't get it, do you, Shadi? True strength can only come from trusting your friends. Ah, uh, what? Where am I? Huh? Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, help! Anzu, it's alright! Just head back this way! Yeah. But can you hurry? I'm not sure how much longer I can hold this thing! <laughs> oh, come on! Anzu! Why am I up here? Yeah! Jeez, would you stop moving so much? Hey! Is everyone alright? Yeah, Honda, I can't move with you holding on to me like that! A beautification member can't die at such a young age! You'll be fine! Let me go so we can get back inside! No! I'll be left here to fall to my death! You seem to have bested me again, Yugi. But do not forget, fate has intertwined us. And little Yugi, you still have the task of discovering what the true power of the Millennium Puzzle holds. Until we meet again.
there's a really cool new toy making its way through Domino City. They're digital pets and they're really popular. They even grow up to be just like their owners. But a bully makes a bully pet and it starts causing a lot of trouble for other pet owners. Next time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero, The Digital Battleground. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button below for more. If you're not already, make sure you follow us on all our other platforms such as Vidme, Twitter, Facebook, Reddit, and Instagram. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.